been so long. Hello. Um, we haven't vlogged in like two, three months. I haven't posted in two months. Um, basically we're back home right now. As you are probably aware, the world is on fire right now and we had to make a really sudden decision to cancel our trip pretty much we're at the end of it but we had to like cut it short and um come home and right now we're actually if you can tell the car is like filled with ikea furniture right now because we got a place we got a rental and we're on the on our way now to go get the keys so it's very exciting and we're getting all the stuff delivered today and like it's been crazy trying to figure out all this stuff with the, the whole situation right now but we're gonna make it work and we'll update you guys more on like everything that happened on the way back because it's kind of crazy what we had to go through um, to get home but yeah we'll show you show you guys the new apartment once we get there okay here we are it's our new apartment that's the kitchen that's the front door there I'm standing in the living room over here will be our main bedroom and then over here is the spare room right there and then you come around here here's Keith unboxing our modem and then here's the bathroom it's very nice I like it I like it a lot and then that's the laundry yeah so we've been back in the country for five weeks now um, we originally planned to go to korea um, after canada and we'd actually still be in korea right now if we didn't decide to come home but we sort of made a last minute plans to come home um, this is maybe six weeks ago and at that time with all this virus it was only really affecting korea and it only just started in italy at that time i think yeah. I don't think Italy was that badly hit and um, it was only in um, Tegu in Korea and we just sort of thought maybe we should come home because um, not saying we wanted not saying that we predicted what was going to happen but it was kind of obvious that this virus could get out of control and we didn't want to get stuck so we decided to come back to Australia so we flew from um, Montreal to Seattle Seattle we actually had to fly via Korea because that's just where our flights were taking us. So we just sort of spent the night in Incheon and then we left. And Incheon was dead actually. There was like no one there at the time. It was really, really quiet. Um, when we came back into Australia five weeks ago, um, they didn't seem to care that we came from Korea at the time. They were just sort of checking. The border security was just checking whether you came from China and there was no advisory that you had to self-isolate or anything when you came back from Korea. But uh, we took it upon ourselves to self-isolate because we figured that's what you should be doing because we came from a country that had been affected by the virus. And probably a week later, the Australian government put out the advisory that you should be self-isolating if you came back from Korea. We also, um, like, we literally found that Korea started getting hit about like three days before we're gonna fly out so we literally changed everything in like a 24 hour span and also when we were flying from Montreal to Seattle Air Canada freaking booked us on the wrong flight so that was a whole other thing we had to deal with like we rocked up to the airport and they were like you missed your flight and we're like what <laughs> no we didn't <laughs> and yeah oh and um when we got to Australia like two days later after we landed there was like it was like this woman on Korean Air flight KE-121, which is the exact flight we took, they were like, oh, she's a confirmed case and everything. We started freaking out. But she literally landed. She took the exact same flight as us, but literally the day before. So we got incredibly lucky with that. <laughs> and, yeah, so it's... <laughs> I was going to say all that. <laughs> I was literally going to say that, but that's fine. Um... Yeah, so like she said, we got really lucky coming back. I felt like we timed everything really well. For those who aren't from Australia, right now we're in like a stage three lockdown. So the borders are basically shut to everyone. But you, I think you can still return home. You have to quarantine yourself for 14 days. Um, it's the same crossing state borders. You have to quarantine yourself for 14 days. Um, 
and you're not really meant to go outside for anything, which has made it really difficult um, for trying to set up a place because while things are still open, it's not as easy to get your hands on stuff and it's not easy to furnish a house or an apartment without going to look at stuff. So we sort of bought everything online um, over the last week because we only found out about this place maybe a week ago. That's focusing on you now. <laughs> also, all the desks are sold out. Yeah, you cannot get a desk anywhere um, because everyone's setting up a home office because everyone's working from home. So we're stuck with a couple of foldable tables for now until we can get our hands on some desks. But yeah, apart from that, we haven't been doing an awful lot. Um, Sally was in Sydney for a couple of weeks um, and I just stayed with some family. But yeah, we sort of got lucky with everything. We got lucky we got this place. Um, the inspection process was kind of weird. Um, we sort of came in, there was no one really doing inspections when you went to open inspections and probably like a couple of days after we started to look they actually stopped open inspections. And yeah, because they stopped open inspections, we're worried that we might not better get a place. Um, they were shutting down non-essential business and I wasn't sure whether like applying for property was essential. Like it was really vague about what they're what they gonna lock down. So we just really urgently wanted to get into a place. Um, probably could have taken that time a bit more because I feel like landlords are desperate to get people in right now too. But whatever, we're in a place, um, we're safe. We can um, isolate ourselves in here not go outside apart from essential stuff and stay home like everybody should be doing and hopefully by doing these measures everyone will get through this. Also we found toilet paper and the very last pack of antibacterial wipes at the shops the other day so we're all set. Yeah I don't know what it's like in other countries but Australians have been hoarding toilet paper like crazy. Well I think it's back a little bit back to normal now. Yeah. All right I'm hoping this is just really easy to set up. This is the MBN modem found the uh, MBN box. For some reason there is already a router plugged into it and I'm not sure why. I think the old tenants must have left it. Some origin router. Maybe I didn't need to buy one. But I'm sure I don't need that. MBN box he is hoping we just plug in and get internet. Okay, so the guys just delivered our sofa, we got it from Koala, that's like comes in three boxes, that's our mattress, and in here is our bed frame, so as you can tell we're pretty like packed in here at the moment, that's all our Ikea furniture, and we still have more boxes we've got to go pick up, and it's going to be a long day of moving I think. You can't really tell but we've brought up a second car load of stuff. We're stuck on hold with IA net. Here's our kitchen stuff. MBN's not working. No. And are we going to start building furniture soon? Uh, I might build the bed soon. Okay, we'll build the bed. Yeah, that's it important. That's in there. Okay, we're starting our furniture building. Starting with the bed base. Still on hold.
We had to cut the time lash short because I had to go answer the IA net call for the uh, internet. But we have the internet, even if it's a bit slow at the moment. Um, our bed set up. These are the pillows that we got to. Oh my god. Huh. Look at the sound thing. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> wow, this is so extra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just keep going until we close the box. Wait, wait for the song to finish. It's gonna... It only plays once. Oh, it keeps going. It keeps going. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is to use it as a storage box. So it plays music every time. Yeah. How's the okay. pillow? Mm. Comfy? Yeah. This thing was so easy to assemble as well. Got some cool little storage back there and no tools are slotted into place. Our place is an absolute mess. Oh, we got the koalas with it. Got a little koala. And then we got a bigger one with the bed too. We haven't named him yet. He looks like a Trevor. No, but his name has to start with K. Kelvin. Keith. Keith the koala. Alright. Place update. We've moved some stuff out of the way. We sort of moved some furniture to where that's meant to be, so, whoops, sorry. Um, right here is where our sofa is going to be, so we've got the boxes there for it. That's a TV unit, so we just sort of like threw it there, that's where it's going to go. Uh, that's the coffee table, that's meant to go like here, but we need the empty space. There's our scrip lamp. Um, what else have we done? You've seen the bed. Oh, yeah, rubbish pile. Um, this, oh, this is her art. Apparently, these things stick to the wall through static, I assume, or something. Yeah, isn't that cool? That is cool. It's very artistic. This is our rubbish pile so far. It feels like so much waste, but we pulled the sofa out of the boxes, and our issue now is we no, lost no, no. the. Oh, never mind. We accidentally, so accidentally threw the instructions into the garbage pile. Okay. But now we're going to assemble our sofa. How's the new sofa? Comfy. Yeah? Yeah. I like how big this bit is. It's quite a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be for a two seater. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's quite roomy. So imagine you're here and I'm like this. That's how we always sit. I get <laughs> a quarter of the couch. We had to like assemble it all. It all came in pieces. I'm yeah. really tired from tightening all the screws. And um, there's all these washers over here that I don't know where they're making. We might have got the washers on. To be fair, it doesn't mention it. Look at this. You see here, it tells you what things come with it. Four legs, 12 screws, plus one extra screw. So Nothing yeah. about washers. It's probably gonna fall apart on us, but. No, oh, forgot to mention that our couch came with his little turtle. Terry, Terry the turtle. Alright, it's the next day, so second day of being in the place. My hair's a mess because I haven't done anything with it. Um, it's 1pm right now. Um, all we did this morning was go pick up some more stuff and that's pretty much all we've done today. Um, I'm really tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, I'm blaming the bed, but I don't know whether the bed's bad or not. I'm just like maybe not used to it. Um, I tend to always sleep really bad in a new environment anyway, so it might take a little while to get used to it. But I'm adaptable. Um, there's always when we're traveling, it was the one night stays that I always slept the worst, but if we stay for a couple of nights, I always slept better for the second night. So. Let's hope that gets better. More stuff here now. I 
think. It's like all their clothes and, and junk are just sitting in the living room. Um, we've got to build stuff. We've definitely got to build the TV unit because I've got a TV sitting in the car. Um, what else did we bring up here? Uh, tubs of stuff. Uh, all that shopping that we've done over the last couple of weeks. It looks like we just hoarded a bunch of stuff, but I don't know. Things were crazy here. It was hard to get stuff for a while. That's why I got this jumbo toilet paper. But that seems to be better now. You can get toilet paper again. Um, oh, we got... Since Easter's next week, I got some hot cross buns. I haven't had a hot cross bun in a long time. Even though they've been selling them for like... I don't know, a year now. I think they sell them all year, actually. <laughs> Stole some butter from my nana's place. And, I don't know. The place is still, still a mess. Oh, we named our koalas. This is Coco and her baby Crumpet. Crumpet. Oh my god, they fit together as well. They cuddle. And, yeah, Sally did some cleaning of the kitchen stuff last oh, night. Show them our new plates and stuff. She's, she's really excited about the plates. She got to pick it all out. Look how pretty they are. She picked them. I just agreed. This is our rice bowl. And our cafe style plates. I like the flat ones. With a little lip. Very like, specific. Like I said, she picked them. Got anything in this drawer yet? No. Empty drawer. We're actually realizing that there's not like a lot of storage for stuff here. Yeah, I don't know where to put our cups and things. Um, there's storage like above the fridge area, but I'm we're both actually really short, so we're gonna have like a lot of issue. Like Sally can barely reach it. I can get stuff up here, but I don't want to put the glasses up here because I'll break them. I'm not much taller than her either. And like. Plenty of pantry space, that'll be fine for all our hoarded stuff. Gotta buy a fridge today, we measured the space out, so we picked that out. Oh, well, they left it. onions and Tupperware. They oh, left I, onions. I didn't even see this. We can't see out there, so we use the camera. There's a few tubs and some onions. Oh. Might get rid of those onions. Yeah. Or score free onions. <laughs> And we didn't vlog it last night when we opened the sheets, but our sheets actually came in this cool box that looks like a book. It's really hard to tell. But it's meant to be a book, can you open it up? Then there's a story, and that's where we got the Coco name for the koala, because the koala's name is Coco. Coco the koala. Yeah. In our TV unit, we got the Bester. I've owned one of these before and I quite liked it. Was it the best? It was the Bester. Got it in this nice light wood colour. It's not bad. It's lighter than I thought it was going to be, though. Yeah. It's almost creamy. And... This um, is the, oh, like I said, this is the hard part, is that we have to buy all our furniture online. We've never actually seen it in person. I know what this one looks like, though. Yeah, but I couldn't see the colours and stuff. I'm not going to vlog us building it, because this is where, like, couples and relationships. So I'm not going to vlog us ending our relationship over IKEA furniture. We've built IKEA furniture successfully before. We have actually. I'm not going to vlog this one. I'll show you when it's completely done. We did it. That's the best stuff. Right now, we have drawers though. Yeah, we have drawers coming. We just couldn't get one part for it. I think it was the drawer railing. But that's it. We made a start. And we're having a hot cross bun break. It's also raining really heavily outside all of a sudden. The weather's been crazy today. It's like diagonal the rain. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, it's been quite a few hours since our last update. This is the current state of the place. Doesn't look like we've made a dent in any of it, but um, I've put away quite a bit of the kitchen stuff. You can't tell. Oh, and up there, there was a disgusting old soggy onion that I forced Keith to deal with and it was because every time you opened up that cupboard or this one it would smell a bit funny and I was trying to figure out what it was and it was a stinky old onion that's what it was. The onion cupboard. Free onions we got up there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Really <laughs> we got a free set of IKEA it was a oh yeah. 
the uh, previous tenants must have, I don't know, forgotten to look through that cupboard or not, but IKEA tools, so they'll come in handy. And yeah, this is the current current kitchen. Don't know where to put a lot of the things, like in here I've put the cups and mugs and stuff. But we're going to run out of pantry space then. But Keith had a really good idea to take one of the shelves from up there. Seeing as we're not going to be able to reach the top shelf that's there. And we'll put it in here instead so then we'll have like a really skinny shelf for things. These are our bedside tables. The Bjorksnas. And because we both have our own set of tools, because we found one, we are actually going to probably build them together at the same time. But it's not a race. Not a race. It's a race. It's too much pressure. Let's see who finishes that first. Ready, set, go! Oh, it took us a while. And with a dinner break. But that is two bedside tables. Two Bjork's nurses. Who won? I did. I don't think you did. What do you mean? I finished before you. I stopped to help her for a little bit. Yeah, I had to help you. You can't do the first step, remember? Okay, it's a tie. But which one's the most sturdy? We'll find out in a couple of years. I think they're both about the same. And here they are, the two Bjorksnasses and our Flugbo lamps. So, oops. So, hey, I Horace. Really? Yeah. <gasps> this is Horace, Horace the Husky. He's, he's the dog in our profile picture on YouTube. That's two and Horace. Yeah, Keith won him for me at the show, is that what it's called? The Melbourne show. The Melbourne show. But yeah, I have Bjork's Nuss bedside tables. And yeah, do we show them the finished bed? I don't think we did. This is the koala bed base, mattress, pillows, and sheets. Yeah, I'm nearly finished with this room. Alright, guys, it's. Uh, oh my god, what day is it? Saturday. Saturday night, it's nearly. 10 p.m. and I think we're gonna call it a night <laughs> the end of this vlog because I think we have quite a bit of footage so um yeah we'll pick it up again tomorrow though because we're just gonna keep vlogging this whole moving in process um the last th oh the last thing I showed was the beds we've literally done nothing else other than that oh we did order um a fridge and a washing machine so they'll be coming on Monday, but you'll see that in the next vlog. So yeah, just wanted to end this vlog here and say thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.